What is up everyone? How are you doing? So we're back at the shop, of course. Uh, Sunday was my birthday, so I didn't film. Uh, and I did not film yesterday. So annoyingly enough, uh, I woke up like extremely sick on my birthday and I was really sick yesterday. Today I'm feeling a lot better. No, I wasn't hungover. I wish I was just hungover, but I mean, who the hell gets sick in the middle of the summer? It sucks, but it's life, whatever. But we're back. We're back in the shop trying to film. I tried to film yesterday didn't happen I was dying but now off the rip I just want to say I have been slacking so hard the past like week and a half two weeks I could f I see it I feel it I'm living it I'm upset about it so we need to start making moves down here again I've been been such a slacker and I've been so mad at myself we gotta we gotta get back on the roll of banging stuff out because you know you know down here we get things done and I gotta keep it going this thing's almost done it's been dragging on but it's just been me lazily ordering parts as it comes and at this point I'm waiting for the uh, Jordan from RK Tunes actually sent the tune out I need the cable it's on its way and I sucked it up and ordered a new radiator to make the uh, coolant system work and then this thing should run fingers crossed this should run so on top of that something big happened yesterday and uh, I'm gonna let you guys guess what it is real quick okay as you can tell the white hatch is no longer there which means I sold the white hat, which is awesome. One of my friends really wanted it, so I said, cool, come grab it. And he bought it, and it's sick. And since it's sold, that now means I get to buy myself an amazing tool, and Drew too knows what that tool is. The tool is a lift. Yeah. I guess, exactly. all right, first try, first tee. So I was actually like really hyped on it, and I was gonna go buy it this morning. The company's up in New Hampshire, I was gonna send it. I called, they're like, no, we're out of stock till Friday. But that's okay, because you know what we're gonna do Friday? Get a freaking lift. All right, so the Lexus now gets to sit outside. It doesn't need to be inside, so. We're getting room in the shop back. But look who decided to show. I love doing this to you. Yeah, just Almost. Oh, bear. Hi, What's bear. up? How are you? What up? Hello. Yeah. It's a Tuesday. I know. I appreciate you being here. I'm motivated. Oh, boy. But it's hot. Yeah, if you got, on uh, what day was it? On Sunday we did it? Uh, we fully resealed his wheel arches on the... No, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. it Sunday. It, it looks great. We're getting there. Getting there. Any injectors in yet? No. Don't I know. think Thursday. Hey, Shite's been was missing. This? this was like 10 bucks. I was like, okay. I'll give you 12. Yeah. I totally forgot to get cut off wheels. Yeah. I'll rip that mic right off that camera. Steve, oh, yeah. did I how, how, did you, how did Drew talk your ass into doing this? Finesse your ass. Oh, uh, you know. He just has a way with words that I can't resist. Finesse master. <laughs> I'm about to sell homeboy snowmobile in trade for him doing my clutch. Gotta get rid of that thing. I'm sitting in my shop for more. So I guess everyone wants a, anyone wants a snowmobile, hit up Drew too. Hit me up. To do my dirty work. <laughs> it's really clean <laughs> under here. Yeah, no, it's pretty fun. Mine has a big old hole in my exhaust. Yeah, well, that, yeah, well that's even a uh, 2014 is not exhaust like that. If you guys didn't realize it, it's Drew's nard body. With my old wheels. Oh my god. All right. Oh yeah, look at you, Steve. You blasted this thing right out. Oh yeah. Flexing on Drew. Just gotta drop the freaking cross member and be ready to put the clutch in. Let's do it. Don't talk about it, be about it. That'll block. All right. Jeff, if I need you, I'm yelling. This is your training. You really need to help you. Yeah. It's heavy, dude. You're such a girl. I really oh, gotta play. There goes training food on Drew's yeah, side. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, bitch. Where are we going? All right, well, this transmission is massive. Well, I don't know. For you guys that are four-wheel drive, that's probably nothing, but to us, that's crazy. But that's one of them MFJ. What'd you do with the pieces I gave you, Drew? Yeah, what'd you do? They're up there. They're on the jack. You see me? Oh, my God, no way. That's part of the clutch ring? Yeah. Ew. Skunked. Is it the worth it? Are those bitchin' wheels worth it? Oh, uh, the flex factor for like two weeks? No. Can you just explain to them that I literally said, yo, it's probably no, the wheels. Yo, no, it's definitely not the wheels, Jeff. Yeah, you're mad dumb. So the clutch is now actually out. And look at that. That caused some issues, doesn't it? Right. Ten bucks says these were broken out for quite a while, too, and Drew didn't even well, feel it. Look, you want to you see the uh, flywheel? Oh, They've been riding around in there for a little oh, bit. Oh, my God, yeah. Drew, what the hell? You need not know. Well, yeah, okay, dude. Gouge out the bolts and everything. Oh my god. What do you think? I think that's why you don't run too big of tires. Yeah, way too big. Way too big. 
Jesus. What is going on, RJ? Uh, <laughs> grubbing. Yeah, okay, I figured. RJ is like really obsessed with this idea. You ready for it? Huh? Huh? Two tone that thing. Huh? Huh? You wanna do it? Oh hell yeah! I we could like it. I have an, I think I might have enough black vinyl that we could do the bottom to see what it looks like. You down for it? I'm down for it. All right. Well, it's at home, so we can't do it tonight. I would say can I finish eating first, but if it's not till tomorrow, that's even better. All right, guys. So B Hall just showed up, and RJ is here, so you know it's a dream team. Um, I actually have to run out real quick and do a big favor for my friend, so I'm not gonna be here. But I'm gonna give Brian and RJ the pass off. So this is gonna be your Brian and RJ segment of the week. How does that sound? Sounds like where you guys are about to have a shitty time. Oh boy. <laughs> Can you fun. see this? I'll be back, B-Hall. Okay. It's you and me, unfortunately. Okay, yeah! Me and RJ! Woo! It's boys night! Oh shit, I need those. Smooth. Yeah. Smooth. Well, I opened the door, but I decided the window was a better exit strategy. Thanks, man. What are we doing? Um, well first I'm going to wash up a little bit because I'm pretty dirty and then we're going to make a sweet intake for my E46. Brian, why are you even going <laughs> to... Give me a minute, RJ. It's got a K&N filter oh my God. already. What do you need a different filter RJ for? RJ is so anti-rice. I can't even... Stop, do not change. It already has maximum performance. It says it right on it. <laughs> wow. How's it look? You good to go? Your hair is good. We got air conditioning. Oh, it's not air conditioning. It's close enough. All right, step one. Remove this bad guy. That's perfectly cleanable. I if you just cleaned, I cleaned it, it when I got the car. If you just cleaned it, you'd have more performance. It Look at it, it's perfectly fine. It's good to go. I cleaned that earlier. I cleaned it when I bought the car. If you don't clean your air filter when you buy a car, you should. I don't know. You're doing a big mod right now, huh? This is not a big mod. Big mod. This is a huge mod. Are you kidding me? What? This is huge. Yeah, no. did you get a tuner? Brian, what are you doing? I'm concerned. Just make the heat shield, bro. Holy Jesus. Yeah, it's going to be nicer than you thought. Not just gonna done. Although I probably could. It's the same size. Wow, oh, Brian, you got that a lot while I was talking to Al. I just assemble mock up here. I do want to make a nice heat shield, which I did. I did like a little cardboard mock up earlier. So let me just pop this stuff out. Um, something like this. It's a big shield. All right. Mm -hmm. Just toying around with some cardboard earlier. I Why don't you just use the cardboard? I think we can. <laughs> the cardboard would probably work pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm not bad with an eye. Almost want to like take the headlight out so that when I close the hood, I can see the height that I need. Is it hard to take the headlight out? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I'm never taking the headlight out. But the question is, is what time is Lowe's open till? Because I think I need a three and a half inch hole saw. Just came back from Lowe's. Hi, Brian bought this doohickey. I'm Jimmy's bad. mad at me because I forgot to buy him before he pulled her up. But, more important things are happening anyways. Oh, look at this. Eh? Look at that. Ah. Factory. <laughs> Alright, now look we just, this. we need to refine the, uh, the template. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, just add some phlegm. This is like a... Brian! What, what? Look at this shit right here. Something like that. Wow. There's like 30 clips of me at this angle over here. Let me go on this side. Wow. Huh. Don't even bother making out of metal. Just leave the card. Be all being dumb. Actually, RJ, the camera's so greasy. Greasy ass what fingers. What are you doing, RJ? My hair. <laughs> so you want to explain to you is what the hell you're doing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm just trying to trim this for the height of the hood. I put some tape on there and I close the hood. I see if it crushed the tape and if it didn't, we're good. And what does this help Excellent. with? Uh, to seal against the hood so we don't get any heat creeping up over into no our lots of hot air intake. new hot air intake. All right, after a couple more uh, modifications, I have the template all done. It's got the, uh, the hole for the intake there and then uh, another hole 
for the uh, air intake that comes in through the center grill on the A46. Now I'm just going to trace it out on this piece of metal and cut it out, bend it up, and see if it fits. Ta-da! Beautiful. Absolutely solid. All right, so we don't have a sheet metal bender. That would be nice. We actually do have a lot of friends with them, but it's kind of late. So we're gonna have to improvise. Sound good? Improvise. Improvise. All right. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> you ready? I guess. All right. We'll see if it fits. Eh? Is Yo. Hey. I would get that. Talk to your boy. Talk you to doing? me nice. How, how, you're a good boy, bro. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that looks. That fits pretty. Pretty tits, yeah, actually. I think I could trim this up a little bit. I tried to leave nice room. Mm -hmm. Also, this guy, now we're feeding even more air into the alternator there. That's good. I don't know if that's good or bad. How's it look, Bri? It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty dope. Got it all mocked up. Now I just need to uh, put a bracket on here mm -hmm. to bolt it down and uh, scuff it up, paint it real fast. Go find uh, some type of seal. I think so we can find what, something. What we gotta find the seal first before we paint it, because we gotta make sure it fits with the seal. So, right, wanna go grab a seal? Yeah, let's go look for a uh, chunk seal. Didn't work. <laughs> look at this. That's what we need. Oh. Thank you, bitch. We have some freaking light. Here you go. Trunk seal. You can't beat it. Well, we can clean it up a little bit, but. It's gonna look nice. A little tight. Damn! Making progress. OEM plus. <laughs> Quick little mounting bracket. Yeah, I gotta. Let's set up your wall there. Oh god! Damn, dude, look at that thing. That looks so professional. Shake it. You can't. Nice and tight, and I just threaded that by hand. Alright, P Hall, you know how you always paint something I make? <laughs> Nervous laugh. Hit it. You're gonna have to catch me first. <laughs> Is it all mocked up yet, B Hall? It's all in there. Yeah, you ready to show? You ready to show them? It's all done. You think they're ready for it? I don't know. I think they're probably ready though. Boom. Eh? Who's your boy? Plot twist, we just ordered the K&N one. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll tell you guys exactly what this cost me. This was $22. This was free. This was free. All these clamps are free. Metal I had laying around. The gasket was free. We kind of, yeah, we stole that from the uh, central. But anyone could find one of those for free, really. That's and true. And this was $25. The expensive part. So, but if you don't care if it looks that, that pretty, you could always use uh, an angle grinder. Yeah, you could go crazy with you if you want with it, but this is just so much easier. And this is good. Like I'm not, I'm not yeah, gonna throw no. this away. I could use this for intercooler other piping, other cold air style yeah. intakes, frame notches. So for fifty bucks, fifty bucks is what I have into this. I mean, besides the fact that we have a welder and, and we shit googled like that. it. They're like minimal two hundred twenty dollars. Honestly, yeah, they sell these things for between two and three fifty. Crazy. So if you want to save yourselves. You know, between 150 and 300 dollars. No, that looks that looks awesome, dude. Like, I mean, look at it. It's 
I mean, it's in there too. Oh so. yeah, she's nice and tight. Boom. I should probably put that light back in. Blue this out. Sounds dope. Can you hear it out there? Huh? A little bit. I can't hear it at all. It just, your power steering wheel makes more noise. Sick. Sick. Sounds great. Sounds like a whole different car. Sounds like the same car. Yeah. Totally faster, like way faster. So what's your ass dyno? But dyno, obviously that's probably 42 and a half horsepower. Awesome. All right guys, so B Hall just made himself a really cool intake for 50 bucks for his BMW. Oh, really great. I'm really impressed with it. Um, if you guys are feeling up to it, go out, make one yourself. It's a fun time, it's always cool. It's definitely one of the first fun mods to do to your car. Um, as far as that goes, today has been a long day. I am dying right now. I'm so tired, I can't even think straight, and I still have to edit this video, so. We're getting it right there, so you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content. Make sure you turn the notification bell on because YouTube likes to screw us. So, take care, have a great night.